best Flash season one moments. Season one of The Flash is quite arguably the best season of any show, any show ever. We had Ewart Dawn in it, we had Eddie Dawn in it, we had so, so much time travel in it, everything was great. So without further ado, these are the best Flash season one moments. Let's get Starting off with this moment in episode one, I'll let you guys watch the clip later, but for now, let's talk about the high stakes. I truly think the high stakes in this moment is what made it truly one of the best moments in the entire show. For context, right here, Barry is fighting the Weatherman, and he says the best way to undo his tornado is go against the tornado's current. And then to that great idea, Caitlin says, Your body may not be able to handle those speeds. You'll die. Instantly, the stakes are already so, so high. He literally might die in episode one of his own show. But you know, he says, I have to try and he tries running through, running through, and it doesn't work. It does not work. It flings him back 100,000 miles per hour, and it seems like all hope is lost. But then, Eubarthon steps in, and this is one of the best speeches in the entire show. And then you combine this beautiful old man speech with some beautiful music, with some beautiful scenery, and it's a great, great moment. Watch the clip. Barry, Barry, this thing's getting closer. Wind speeds are 200 miles per hour and increasing. Barry, can you hear me? Yeah! Not and clear! If it keeps up, this could become an F5 tornado. And it's headed towards the city! How do I stop it? Guys! What if I unravel it? How the hell are you gonna do that? I'll run around it in the opposite direction, cut off its legs! You'd have to clock 700 miles per hour to do that. Your body may not be able to handle those speeds. You'll die. I have to try! The suit's holding up. But he's not. He can do it. I know he can do it. I was another potential victim of my hubris. And yes, I created this madness, but you, Barry, you can stop it. You can do this now. Run, Barry, run! <laughs> anyone else like me I'm not like you you're a murderer Barry. it's over I'm okay episode one times nine but what makes this moment so so special is the actual context behind it once you really learn everything because when we all first watch this moment we're like oh okay just reverse flash fighting you Barthon, right but then you realize they are the exact same people. So like if you think about the science behind it, he was like beating himself up by making like a speed mirage, but then he was like hitting him and then he, uh, what? What? I truly think this is one of the more underrated scenes because right after he beats up Old Man Thawne, he goes right after the police crew and demolishes them. This scene truly captures what Eubar Thawne in season one was like, the true fear he gave people, the true scariness he put in his victims. Wow. <laughs> Detective Thawne, would you like to read him his rights? Joe, what are you doing? Getting some answers. 
14 years ago, you murdered Nora Allen. I want to know why. Why? Dr. Wells, we need it last. What do you want with the tachyonic particles? My goals are beyond your understanding. Well, I don't know. I'm a pretty smart guy. I knew you were exceptionally fast, so any trap we manufactured would have to be invisible. I knew your cells could repair themselves at extraordinary speed, so you could withstand the damage this is doing to your body right now. The supercapacitors, the containment field is fluctuating. They need to get out of there now. The reason I know all this is because your powers are almost exactly like those of the Flash. Well, I'm not like the Flash at all. Some would say I'm the reverse. Dr. Wells, evacuate. Get out of there now. Dr. Wells. Cisco, turn off the barrier. If I turn it off, that thing's going to get out. Cisco, he's going to kill Wells. Find him. Shoot! I want you not to hunt me. on this moment right here is kind of paying homage to Ronnie because I really think Ronnie and Caitlyn were done so so wrong in this show. People really don't talk about this enough but I feel like Caitlyn was kind of done wrong in the show because she's always been like the single girl oh she finds someone goes dies oh I found Zoom oh he's evil okay I'm single again uh uh you know like it's always Caitlyn being alone and I think Ronnie right here had so so much potential if they kept him in longer like I really think he could have been one of the main characters but here we can see Ronnie does a very very selfless act he knows he's about to blow up because him and Professor Stein are together so if they separate it makes a huge explosion and a lot of people die, right? So Ronnie does the brave thing, picks up his gun and says, I must end this before anyone gets hurt. Truly a heroic thing to do. But then Caitlyn and Flash step in right at the end. They're all like, oh my God, we can stop this, but there's not much time left. Oh my God, what do I do? And then a big explosion happens. Flash runs off very quickly. It's all very, very beautiful. And to be honest, overall, I just love when Flash runs away from things. Like there's an explosion behind him, but he runs that way. Like, you know, like he runs. It's so sick. I love when he runs. Ah. Professor Stein! What are you doing here? You can't be here! Get her out of here! Now! Please! Look, Ronnie's still in there somewhere! Oh, those people. Clarissa, I won't let them die. It's better I end this now. We can separate you! We can stop the explosion! How? A quantum splicer. It's a fission device designed to bombard your atoms with as much energy as they experience in the particle accelerator explosion should be enough to separate you. Please, Professor, you have nothing left to lose. Ronnie, if you're in there, I love you. That was from him. I look forward to meeting you in person, Professor. It's not working! It's not gonna make it, he's 
gonna blow. Get out of there. Barry, get out of there now! Now moving on guys, I don't care, I don't care what anyone says, this has to be the best moment in season 1. I really think this right here is easily one of the best moments, if not the best, in season 1. And this moment is so crazy because everything that happens here, three main big things happen all in like a couple minutes. This moment starts off when Iris and Barry confess their love to one another. 15 episodes have gone by and they've both been kind of on the edge. Iris is with Eddie sometimes, but then she's not. Barry's trying to look out for other girls, but he's secretly stuck on Iris, his stepsister, and all this is happening, you know? But then it all boils down to this moment right here when they finally share their true feelings for each other and kiss. Wow. But wait, it doesn't end here because the second big thing that happens is Barry reveals his identity as Flash to Iris West. Oh my god, but wait, it doesn't stop there. Already a great moment, but now he has to stop the tsunami because it's coming in from the weatherman. Boom, boom, boom. So Caitlin does some quick thinking and says if he runs around the city super, super fast, he can make an anti-wave that pushes the tsunami away, right? So he runs as fast as he can after confessing his love. He runs, he runs, he runs, he runs so fast. He runs so fast that he literally travels back in time. Oh my god, time travels! Ah! Oh my god. Iris, you need to get out of here, okay? You need to get as far away from here as possible. I am not leaving you. Iris, please. Listen to me, ever since the night that you told me how you felt, I have not been able to stop thinking about you. At first I was really mad, and then I realized that the reason that I couldn't stop thinking about you was because I didn't want to. I've never stopped thinking about you. heading for the city. How do I stop it? Theoretically, if you can create a vortex barrier along the coastline, a wall of wind, that would be able to sap the tidal wave of its energy before it hits the city. They're running back and forth. How fast? I don't know if you can run that fast. I am so sorry. I didn't want you to find out this way. Anyways, now let's talk about one of the most iconic scenes in the entire show, when Ubar Thon kills Cisco Ramon. Now unlike the previous moments, what made this scene so powerful wasn't the engaging fight, the really cool scenes, it was the actual context and relationship that was so, so beautiful. This moment is so powerful because Ubar talks about how Cisco was like his son. They worked side by side for over 10 years and now Cisco had learned Ubar's biggest secret, which obviously forced him to make a very, very tough decision. Truly, truly one of the most iconic scenes in the entire show due to the emotional sentiment behind it. Watch the clip. The truth is... I've grown quite fond of you. And in many ways, 
You have shown me what it's like to have a son. Forgive me, but to me, you've been dead for centuries. Let's talk about episode 1 times 22 when Reverse Flash does a miraculous 1v3. Here we see Reverse Flash by himself will take on Firestorm, Green Arrow, and The Flash. As you can see right here, what made this moment so so good is how engaging of a fight this was, truly. And this scene right here raises a really really big question guys. You guys really really think about it, let's get serious for a second. This was 8-9 years ago, this scene right here. But how is it that scenes that happened 8-9 years ago are more engaging and truly more, just more overall aesthetic than scenes we have now? Now in season 9 flash nine years later because statistically scientifically all of the above you would think over time the quality of a show would go up 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 but for some reason the flash went up in the beginning but somehow over the years even with more expensive camera quality their stuff went downhill how is that possible? How? If you guys have an answer to this question, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, watch this truly engaging fight. Hey Barry. Ronnie. Firestorm. Wow, you brought yourself a friend. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Queen. Hope we're not too late. You're just in time. I don't care how fast you are. You can't fight all three of us at the same time. Oh, I can't? Trust me. This, this is gonna be fun. of Ray Palmer. They're delivering a high-frequency pulse that's disabling your speed. You're not gonna be running around for quite a while. No problem. Nice haircut. 
And I see we've abandoned our traditional green. Try something different. Look, I might need a favor from you. Wherever, whenever. I got you. But now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the final best Flash Season 1 moment, let's talk about the final Flash versus Reverse Flash fight. Now, what truly makes this entire moment right here so, so special and a perfect wrap-up for the season is the sequence of events. The moment starts off with Barry saying probably one of the best lines in the entire show where he says this. You could have had everything you ever wanted! Yes. I already do. Is that Barry Allen? He, he says those things? Oh. Oh, but guys, you have to admit, when you first watch this scene, just that line itself, I already do, is so crazy. It's so good. And it has such a deeper meaning because all of season one, all Barry Allen wanted to do is go back, save his mother, save his family, save everything. And once Reverse Flash gave him the opportunity, he goes back in time, but he realizes he has everything he wants right here, right now. It's truly a great life lesson for all of us right here in real life. Guys, you have everything you could ever want. I know you all think, maybe this will make me happy. I gotta do this, do this. But as you see right here, Flash realizes at the end, truly, that he has everything he wants. He has a great family, people that love him, and that's all he could ever ask for. Wow, what a beautiful speech to end off the Flash Season 1 best moments. Enjoy the clip. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on my channel, Cultural Reacts. Deuces. Yo you could have had everything you ever wanted! I already do. Not alone. If Eddie dies, he'll never be born. He's being erased from existence. No! No! Eddie, Eddie, no, no. Eddie, stay with me, okay? He's dead. He was wrong. It turns out I'm a hero after all. You are, Eddie. You are my hero. That's all I ever wanted to be. I've controlled your life for so long, Barry. How will you get along without me?
are the best ways to wrap up season one. Guys, what I really liked about season one is. Uh, uh, oh my. Uh, 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 uh. Just pretend this was the season eight scene. Okay, so y'all haven't seen me before. I am DFV Productions. I want to thank you all for the amazing support I've got over the uh, last couple of months. As you can see, two months ago I had 700 subs and now I almost have 20K. So that's insane. Enough about my channel. I made this video with Kosho and I advise everyone to take a look at his channel. He makes amazing content also the flash just like me so why not check it out don't mind my english by the way i was born on the moon what makes this moment so so special and what makes this moment so so special why can't i talk today thank you baby girl what dfe productions what is going on here bro dfe tell me DFE Productions, talk to me. Why? What is going on, dude? What is going on?